describing my the, the rig for the simple krill uh, recording session. Right. So I'm set up uh, down in the uh, downstairs uh, Harrow Lane Studios, and I've just taken the opportunity to patch up a um, something to do with a, a krill um, self-generating piece. Uh, where shall we start? Let's start at the beginning. This is the sample and hold circuit and so I've got uh, it it's turned off at the moment when, when I turn it on it will periodically clock noise and if the noise if, if the noise is at a certain voltage it'll trigger this um, So if the noise reaches a certain voltage level, it'll tr trigger this sequencer and the output of the sequencer, uh, the gate out, at the moment I'm not even using the CV outs, but the gate out comes down to this malt and then, so those gate pulses then propagate up to this sequencer. Hold on, Dr. Morbius, let's go and look at this sequencer. So this sequencer is actually providing control voltages to the uh, the oscillator. Where's the oscillator, Dr. Morbius? So here's the os VCO, VCF, VCA, so oscillator, filter, amplifier. But before the control voltage gets to the oscillator, I'm putting it through a portamento um, or a glide. Just to or slew control the oscillator. You know, I'm just doing a bit of pulse width modulation. Why not? Um, and the, the um, gate and the gate is opened by the clock, um, the gate that comes from here. So that's so everything comes from the noise, but then the, then the gate propagates out to the sequencer and the envelope generator, which opens the os the amplifier and gives us a tone so let's give that a test dr morbius what a good idea uh so uh, you see that's one of the interesting points so not every sample is high enough as a is a high enough voltage to produce um to produce an input at the um at the trigger so that means that we don't get a regular pattern so even though the clock is just on and clocking uh, at some at some regu reg regular um, regular frequency, we don't get a clock every single time. So uh, that... how's the Starlab working here, Doctor Morbius? Oh well, yes, 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 yes. Uh, so we um, so this this golden cable is the is the sound output of this um, VCO VCF VCA, and it comes into the. Starlab re, um, a time warped reverberator where I've just basically got it, just about everything turned up to the max. So very wet, very reverby, lots of feedback um, and a big delay and I'm modulating the delay at a very slow rate so um, it gets pulsed in and out. Do you like the Starlab by Strymon, Dr. Morbius? I think it's quite suitable for the task. Captain Ken? And and oh, just for excitement, um, before I get, this is where I'm starting to just build the complexity for, for fun. I've got a very slow LFO over here on this black cable, and that's coming through, and that is modulating the glimmer setting. And so very, very slowly, it's like I'm turning the glimmer up and down, and glimmer adds a lot of harmonics to the, to the situation. So if I... Yeah, so I've turned the glimmer up, and the glimmer gives a lot of harmonics. So if I turn it down, then the LFO is turning that knob up and down for me. So it's periodically it sounds more weird than other times. This is, this is, this is clocking quite fast now. I might want to turn down the volume a little bit. How fantastic is that, everybody? Well, thank you very much, Dr. Morbius, for explaining this rig, and we look forward to all your future endeavors. Can I, can Ciao.